Absolutely, John. Don't get me started on the the pipe bomb. Okay, a new (laughs) report claims that the House and Senate are both investigating if foreign adversaries funneled money into Democratic campaigns. Letters sent to the Treasury Department, FBI, and the Director of National Intelligence claim that four countries, China, Iran, Venezuela, and Russia funneled money through the Act Blue online donation portal. Suspicious activity reports were filed, and congressional officials want to get their hands on those. John, will anything come of this? I do. I actually, uh, it's funny, 30 years ago when I was a reporter at the Associated Press, I broke the original stories that led to the China Gate fundraising scandal of Bill Clinton getting help from China. There is a lot of evidence in the current investigation that's now being conducted by 19 attorneys general. 19 different states are investigating this, in addition to Senator Ron Johnson in the Senate, who could be the chairman of the PSI committee, the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations. That's the most powerful investigative committee in the Senate. And then Brian Stow, the chairman of the House Administration Committee, who currently oversees election integrity in America. When they start asking for SARS, which is some of the most sensitive money laundering detection tools that the government has, they're on to something. They've been talking to financial institutions as their letter says, we broke this story yesterday morning. We actually have the letters. You saw them there. Uh, uh, the, uh, there's reason uh, that Congress has, because of the private briefings they've been getting from the financial institutions, to think that foreign money is being routed into the Democratic coffers. They're cheating at fundraising like they did 30 years ago. That's the allegation. Uh, and they believe that some of this money is coming from those four foreign adversaries. Getting the SARS, the Sus- Suspicious Activity Report, is how the Hunter Biden story went from fiction to fact very quickly. Why? Because you could follow the money. You could see all those foreign countries who routed money maybe through a cutout account here and a cutout account there, but ultimately ended up in the Biden family coffers. That's what they're going to be doing here. This is a major development. And while this is not going to really be resolved before Election Day, if President Trump were to win on Election Day, the Justice Department would have a major criminal investigation ongoing in 2025, I predict. 